Hey everyone, good morning. I don't know if anyone is here already. No one is here. Yeah. Oh yeah, nu zijn we live. Dan wacht ik wel even. Hello, hello, good morning. So today it's yoga time at Vic. Um, we're just waiting for two more minutes for more people to come in. But you'll need two blocks today, or maybe two big books. So if you have some time, grab them. And two dumbbells because it's a yoga and sculpt class. So take your time to get them while we wait for other people to come in. So I hope that everyone is doing fine. It's week six in our confinement. Um, here at Vic, we've been working hard to, well, as you see, paint the studio, and uh, our teachers are uh, also assisting you with these live classes. So it's really nice to have you all here. It's 8.30, so I'm going to start. So again, for those who are coming in now, you need two dumbbells, or maybe if you don't have dumbbells at home, just take two bottles of water or wine or a pineapple. It doesn't really matter as long as it's, it, it's a weight that you can hold. And two blocks or big books would be helpful. Yeah? So can everyone understand me? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to go to my mat. So get ready to start. So make sure, if you have those two blocks or big books, that you put them here at the beginning of the mat. Prepare them already because we will be doing a few balancing poses and these will help you. Make sure the dumbbells are on either side at the front of your mat, ready so that you can grab them in your flow. Yeah? So I'm just going to adjust the music and we can start. So you come to your mat and you find just a nice pose on your back. I know you all just got up, but just for a few minutes to center ourselves and find our breaths. So you lay on your back, make sure your hands are next to your body, your feet are as wide as the mat, and you let the knees drop against each other. Your hands can also be on your belly if you like that. Just close your eyes and notice the floor underneath your back, underneath all, all the parts of your body that are touching the floor. Notice your breath. So the breath moving in and out of your body. Just notice its rhythm, how it is right now and today. So you don't need to change anything, just observe your breath. So how do you know that you're breathing? Where can you feel your breath? So now that you've observed your breath for a few rounds, you may start to deepen it. So you breathe more towards your belly in towards the lower part of your lungs, your belly. And you make your exhalation longer. So you inhale deeper. And exhale longer. So you take a few deepening breaths. In and out. Take two more. Sitting bones into the floor, and from the sitting bones, you start to elongate through 
the spine, all the way towards the crown of the head. Imagine that from the crown of the head, you have a thread connecting the crown of the head to the skin. Now you breathe, so you feel the flow of breath moving in and out of your body. From here, you drop your chin to your chest on an exhalation. Inhale, move your head towards the right. So your right ear moves towards your right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, one more time, right ear to right shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. And exhale, chin to chest. Here you keep your head for a moment. You notice a stretch on the back of your neck. Maybe move your hands on the back of your head if you don't have enough stretch. Inhale towards the back of your neck and exhale. Relax your shoulders. Now you release the hands. Inhale, take your head up and we roll over our hands and knees. Up onto our hands and knees into all fours. So in your all fours position, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Feet are on the floor. You're making sure your fingers are spread wide and that you have slight bend in your elbows. Yeah? From here, on an inhalation, your tailbone is moving up, your back is arching. You open your chest towards the front. Exhale, press your hands into the floor, tailbone is moving down. Pull your navel in and up, round your spine. So we give this a few more times. Try to do it on your own breath. So you inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, to round your spine. Inhale, arch over your chest, exhale, round. One more time, inhale, to warm up our spine and exhale. Now you tuck your toes into the floor, move the front forward and back. To warm up the feet, maybe lift your knees as well while you do that. And then we come to the middle again. Now you take the, let's start with the left leg. So you take the left leg, back it up, the right arm forward. So you extend the inhalation. Exhale, bend the knee, bend the elbow, round your spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale to extend. And exhale to round. Now you make inhalation, you extend, you stay. Your hand is going back to the floor. You move the back foot down, so you extend the leg down, and you move it to the inner edge. You move the right foot out of your mat, you move your weight into your right hand, and you open up to the side. So it's an adjusted uh, side, side body plank, side plank. You open, on an exhalation, you take your arm over your head, inhale here, feel the stretch on the side of your body, exhale, move everything back to the mat. Now we go to the other side. So your right leg moves up, left arm. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So inhale to extend. Exhale to round. Now we inhale one more time to extend. Left hand on the floor. So your right foot is coming to the floor. You move to the side. Open up. Inhale here. Exhale. And arm over your head. And enjoy the opening on the side of your body. We move everything to the floor again. You curl the toes under. Inhale here, open your chest. Exhale, now you move your sitting bones towards the ceiling. You start to walk your dog. So your hands, you press your hands into the floor. Move your tailbone to the ceiling. Start to extend and bend your knees alternately. So you walk on the spot. We open here the hamstrings, we massage our feet, and then you walk all the way towards your hands. With your feet next to your hands, make sure they are hips width apart. Let your head hang. Say yes one time. Shake no. Bend your knees. Inhale here. Exhale. Press your feet into the floor. Roll up. Roll the brother first. Your hand is the last thing to come up. From here, we're going to take a few sun salutations to warm up our body and get energized. 
So you come to the front, your feet can be together, so together, or hips width apart, so underneath your hip bones. Press your feet into the floor, find your leg, inhale, take your arms up. So the inhalation is taking your arms up. Exhale, fold forwards. Hands can be on the floor, bend your knees if you want, or stand up. Hands can also be on your uh, shins. Inhale, come halfway. Exhale, hands on the floor, step back into your plank. Inhale here, press the floor away, find your plank. Exhale, bend your elbows towards your ribs, hover all the way towards the floor. Press your feet into the floor, hands underneath your shoulders, and press up into your core. Exhale, to the floor, hands next to your ribs, press up, on hands and knees, curl your toes under, down dog. You can walk your dog for a bit if you want. Then you can take one into your toes, so you come into your toes, sitting bones close towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend through the knees. We do this again. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Look in between your hands. And on an inhalation, you step forwards. Inhale to come up. Exhale. Fold forwards. Inhale. The inhalation is taking you up. The exhalation is taking your arms up. So we do this two more times, but then faster. Yeah? So you inhale. Exhale to fold forwards. Hands on the floor, on your shin. Inhale, halfway up. Shoulders are rolling back. Exhale. Hover all the way towards the floor immediately. Hands underneath your shoulders. In, press. Cobra. Exhale, down. Hands next to your ribs. Inhale, hands and knees. Curl the toes under, down dog. So walk your dog if you need to. From there, come into your toes. Inhale. Bend the knees. Inhale again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you're in between your hands and you step forward. So your inhalation. Come halfway up. Exhale. Fold forwards. Inhale. All the way up. And exhale. Hands down. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Feel how the exhalation is taking you down. Inhale. Halfway up. Exhale. Flex. Hover to the floor. Inhale, hands underneath your shoulders. Cobra, eggs. Hands next to your ribs. Press up. Curl the toes under. Down dog. In your down dog, come into your toes. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now you look into your hands. Step forward again. Come halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Now we're going to take a squat. So, a chair pose, as we call it in yoga. So, it's like you're going to sit on a chair. So, your feet can be, again, lift with apart or together. Doesn't matter. When you're together, press your legs against each other, yeah? So, you're going to sit in your, on your imaginary chair. But there's no chair, so you sit in the air. Then you take your arms up. Inhale, look into your hands. Exhale, bend a little bit deeper. Inhale. Try to find the length of your spine. Roll your shoulders back and down. Exhale. Inhale, one more time. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold. Forward. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, we step into our plank. Right here, we find a little side plank. So you move your weight into your right hand. Open up. Inhale here, exhale to come down. We go to the other side. Inhale. And exhale. Now from our side plank, now from our plank, you move into from our plank down. So you can bend the elbows. Move down towards your chest and cobra. Or you take your chaturanga. Up dog. Yogi's choice. Come into your Downward facing dog. From here, you move your weight into your left foot. Right leg moves up. Exhale, bend the knee to your chest. Step it through. Now you take your dumbbells. Take them here and make sure that you're stable. Press into your front foot. In. So from here, you're going to go down, bend the back knee, and 
And at the same time, take our arms down. Yeah? So we take it down on the exhalation. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we move forward. You put the dumbbells down here. Your waist forward, so you can take your arms up, so you take one line from your heel onto your fingertips. Inhale here. Exhale, now you're going to move forward, hands in front of your chest, move your weight onto your front foot. Kick the back leg up. It's easiest if you have your press with your feet into an imaginary wall behind you. So you can stay here in warrior three, or take your blocks for your balance. This is the easiest. If, you, if it is easy for you, stay here. Now we're going to pick up our back leg for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, take your back leg in. Come on. Find your balance. So, how is your balance today? <laughs> take your leg forwards, inhale. Exhale, send it forwards. Take your hands into your waist. And now we're going to pick up here again. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take your leg. Hug it into your chest, inhale. Hands in front of your heart. Now we're going to step back immediately. Inhale into your high lunge. Exhale down. And step into your plank. Now we're going to take a side plank. You can, you can on the right side. Take your dumbbell. Take your arm up. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Move your dumbbell to the floor, plank. Take your cobra or chaturanga and dog up. Downwards facing dog. Walk it out for more than two breaths. And then we go to the other side. So you move your weight into your left, right foot. Inhale, left leg moves up. Exhale, bend the knee. Take it to your chest. Step it through. Make sure you're stable. Take your, take your weight, uh, dumbbells. Inhale to come. Ooh. So how's your balance? <laughs> Make sure you're stable. Now we do the same thing. So we inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. From here we inhale. Exhale. Move your waist to the floor. On an inhalation, you come up. You take one line from your heel to your fingers. Exhale here. Inhale, hands in front of your heart. Find your balance on your left leg. Kick the back leg up. And again, kick it to an imaginary pool behind you. <coughs> from here, or again, take your blocks if you need to. Right? This is easier for your balance. From here, we're going to pick up. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take the leg. Here. To your chest, take your hands into your um, into your hips and your step. And we're picking up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take the leg in, hug it into your chest, inhale, <coughs> exhale, hands in front of your heart, step back. Inhale to take the arms up, exhale, back. So we take now the side plank on our left side. In, inhale, exhale, take your arm down. In, exhale. Two more times. In, exhale. Last time, in, and exhale. Move into your plank. And then go to your cobra or upwards, upwards facing dog. Now we move into your downwards facing dog. Walk it out. Walk it out. Take a few breaths. And then we move into the left leg. Oh, sorry. I went into the left leg again. And right leg is moving up. Exhale, bend the knee. Move forward. Step it through. Take the dumbbells again. In to come up. So now we're going to do the, this thing that you're going to bend your elbows when you take your back leg down. And you take your upper body towards the side. Yeah, so we're making a twist. So I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like this. Yeah? So you inhale, exhale, in, exhale, in, exhale. 
Inhale and exhale. Inhale, now you stay here. Open up the warrior two. So your back heel is moving to the floor. Take your front arm forward, split the hands. Take your reverse warrior. So forearms moving back, back arm forwards. Now you turn it around. So your back arm is moving forwards. Forward, forearm back. Inhale. And exhale. In the warrior two. Now you put the dumbbells on the floor. From here, warrior two again. Extend your front leg, inhale. Exhale. So you take try to push your front arm moving down, back arm up. Inhale here. And exhale. Make sure you revolve your chest towards the ceiling. And then you take length on both sides of your body. So you inhale. Exhale, look at your front foot. Inhale, warrior two. From here, step your front back foot a little bit to the front. Just a little bit. Now we're going to take a balancing pose again. So you move with your weight into your front leg. Take the block. Then you take the back leg up. Extend. Maybe keep the hand in your hip. But you want to extend. So again, move it back and up. Inhale here. Maybe open. Exhale, step back. Great. Inhale, back heel is moving up. Circle it back or forwards. Left hand on the floor. Inhale, open into a twist. Exhale. Both hands on the floor. And now you take your front leg back. So you step into your plank. From here, we move to our side leg again. Take the weight. In. Exhale. In. And exhale. Two more times. In. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. So move to your back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Over facing dog. Exhale. Down to facing dog. Walk it out. Take three deeper breaths. Maybe find your silence. So if you want to stay in this pose, you move your sit bones close towards the ceiling on the inhalation. Exhale. Heels down. Inhale here, and exhale. Inhale one last time, and exhale, move to the other side. So you move your weight to your right foot, and exhale, bend that back to side. Exhale, bend it to the knee, step it through. So we do the same thing, you take your dumbbells, move up. Arms go up, and then exhale, you twist towards the left, bend the knee, pack your arms. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, balance. Inhale, and exhale. We inhale, exhale, open up to your warrior two. Now we take our reverse warrior. So you inhale, exhale, back arms moving forwards. We do the same thing. Inhale, so your front arms moving up. Exhale, back arms moving forwards. Warrior two. Dumbbells to the floor. Find a warrior two. Inhale. Extend the front leg. You reach forward to the front leg. And then you take your triangle pose. So you can take it here. If you want a bit more challenge, you can take the arm over your head and the lower arm as well. Pull your leg a little up. Leg through both sides of the body. Exhale. Look down. Inhale. To come up. Exhale. Now your back heel circling up, back arm circling forwards. Move your hands on the inside of your leg. And step it into your back foot. So you take the dumbbell. Uh, on the other side. Sorry. You already did that one. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. Last time. In. And exhale. Now you come to your plank. You Bend through the elbows. Inhale. And exhale. Now here you're going to come to your toes. Inhale. Bend through the knees. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now look into your hand. You're going to jump with your feet forward and place them on the outsides of your hands. Like this. Yeah? So you're in squat position. I will just face you to show you what we're going to do. In squat. Take your hands in front of your heart. 
Press your elbows into your knees and your knees into your elbows. Find some length. Take one deep inhalation and one deep exhalation. Now take your arms forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So let's do four more times. So we inhale. Exhale. Three. Two. And one. Okay, now you're going to move here. Just that's easy, right? So you move your um, the soles of your feet on the floor. Make sure you find the length through the spine in front of your head. Turn your shoulders back and down. Take the backs of your knees. Take your feet up. So we're going for some ab work now. So you can take this half both foot. Keep opening through the, the front body. And smile. So don't really. So we tend to, to to have a lot of tension in our face. So smile. Relax your face. Relax your shoulder. Take your hands to the side. If this is easy, extend the legs. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. So now we move to the floor for the next exercise. I'm just going to put the uh, sound thing next to me because it's making a lot of noise. So on an inhalation, you extend everything. Make sure you pull your navel in a lot. So you want the back body to be on the floor. So your lower body, your lower back is on the floor. Pull your navel in down. Extend. Exhale. Bend the knees. You move with your fingers to your toes. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. This was five. Four, three, two, and one. So now you hug your knees into your chest. We go to the next exercise. You move your hands next to your body. You're going to extend your legs. Flex the feet. So it's like you're carrying a platter with food on your feet. And you don't want it to drop. So you don't want to move it too much like this. And now you're just going to lift your hips three centimeters or two from the floor. Like this. So just a tiny bit, lifting. This is a really good exercise for your lower, lower parts of your abs. So let's take, I don't know where we are, but let's take eight more. So we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your knees up. I'm just going to attach the sound thing again. Take a breath. Now you take your knees up, you're going to roll up. And come to our plank. Let's take a few mountain climbers, right? To finish the app work. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we release. So you move your hips close towards the floor. We open, we take a nice stretch. Make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Take your shoulders back and down with your stretch in your And enjoy it. Take a nice breath. Inhale one more time. And exhale. Now you move your toes close to each other. Knees are on the edges of the mat. And you take a child pose. And just enjoy this pose. Relax your face, relax your arms, relax your head, relax your forehead, and enjoy the breath. Take a few deeper breaths in your back body. Try to relax everything you can. And now you move your hands underneath your shoulders. You roll up. We're going to finish with few stretches. So let's take a forward fold. You're going to take a very active body. So your feet are flexed. Take your hands next to your body. We're going to we'll take a dandasana stick pose first. So you take your shoulders back and down. Open your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale one more time. And exhale. Now you take your arms up. 
and you find light through your English. From your hips, you're going to hinge down until you exhale, until you feel an edge. Now you stop. Inhale. And lengthen one more time. Exhale. Maybe take your legs, your hands on the floor, or take your feet. And take your breaths here. So when you inhale, you want to lengthen through the spine, exhale to soften maybe through the body. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. We're going to, yeah, let's go for a side stretch. So I'll just face you. Take the legs out for the side. If this is very intense, take one leg in. There's nothing wrong with that. So we we'll start on the right side. So make sure you have still have some space. You go to not don't go to 100 percent Just go over to the right side. And then easy to the left side. To the right side. And to the left. Now next time we're at the right side, try to stay here. Maybe you want to hand, move your hand at your, the back of your head so you can hold your, we're going to let the arm rest on your hand here. So you try to revolve your chest over towards the ceiling. Feel the stretch here. On the side body, it's a really nice stretch. Make sure you keep flexing your feet, by the way. Really important to keep your legs very active. Inhale, come up. Now we move to the other side. You stay there. So we'll do the same thing. You find your place and then you maybe move your head and hand back at the back of your head. And don't forget to roll your chest open and flex your feet. Take deep, nice deep breaths. And you cross your legs, you take a twist towards the left, just for a moment. Take two or three deep breaths there. Notice the floor beneath your body again. And notice what the pose is doing in your body. We move to the other side. So you uncross your legs, you move up, move your left foot on your right knee, take the right leg. Really try to flex both feet, by the way. And if you want a bit more, actually you can move the uh, bent knee a bit more away from your body. Find the stretch, take one more deeper breath in and out. And then you press your legs, take your arms out to the side, and we take a nice twist to the side. Just notice your breath, notice the floor underneath your body. So from here, on an inhalation, take your legs up, hug the knees, maybe roll, tip roll circles with your knees to massage your lower back. 
And then if you want, you can either take a Shavasana, so you extend your legs in front, extend your arms next to your body, or if you want to continue with another workout, you just roll to the side of your body and you come up and you take your workout. If you're Shavasana, stay there as long as you want, just notice your breath, always come back to your breath. So thank you guys, it was really lovely to work out with you today and to share this practice with you. Stay safe, take care of yourself and don't hurt each other.